it's Amanda Green here and um, I'm just sort of sitting in the car obviously uh, outside the doctor's surgery uh, waiting to go in so while I was doing that I thought I would give you a little bit of a, a baby update uh, we are 28 weeks already so officially uh, in the seventh month so it's pretty scary how um, fast it's going uh, my emotions are just all over the shop for, for, for multiple reasons uh, because of that because it's obviously uh, going to be our last baby so this is the last time I'll be pregnant so every little kick every little move every thing he does um, reminds me that this is going to be my last time and um, yeah I'm just emotionally just all over the shop like last <coughs> last night um, I was crying in my plate of nachos because it wasn't what I wanted, but just, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, we're going in to find out the results for the glucose, uh, tolerance, intolerance test, it's, yeah, glucose, yeah, that you get at 28 weeks, so, um, we're going in to find out the results of that, um, so the fingers crossed, um, I'm hoping no gestational diabetes like I had with Nalia um, and hopefully this will be my last one because I've had like I don't know is it five five glucose tolerance tests already you know where you sit down for like two hours and you have that horrible sugary drink and you feel like dog poo because it's just way too much sugar so yeah so that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing I'm kid free today so Everybody has assimilated into their appropriate school daycare really, really well now. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you posted on how the test results turn out today. And um, hopefully, hopefully it won't be high or it'll just be normal. And I won't have to worry. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> won't have to worry about... Um, checking my sugar levels before and after each meal and, and just trying to make sure um, I balance out and control um, the, you know my insulin levels and stuff with with food um, so yeah we um, had the chance on the weekend to do the drive to um, the capital city Darwin and um, suss out uh, the location of the hospital so when we go up for our appointment at the end of next month um, to meet the uh, specialist that's going to be doing the c-section um, we know sort of exactly where to go and timings and how to get there and stuff like that so uh, from door to door so from our place to the hospital it's going to be like a four hour drive so we're going to have an early start excuse me to get there at 10 to sort of factor in pee breaks breakfast break all that sort of um, malarkey and uh, yeah but uh, I should I should should I also add um, as just a little bit of an update to the pregnancy is, is I'm really really feeling it at the moment I shortness of breath quite quickly um, just really can't get comfortable when I'm sleeping you know I normally would sleep on my side um, up oh, I'm really, sorry you're you again um, I'm up under me and um, it's just not working you know like the whole of the next day I've got sort of like pains in the arms and stuff like that so I really um, am trying to find a, a more comfortable posse to uh, sleep at the moment and you know, getting up to go to the toilet half a dozen times it's just not so I'm just knackered tired um, and all that whatnot plus I've got a four-year-old that's peed the bed the last two nights so um, yeah, that's quite hard. You could drag yourself out of bed in the middle of the night and remove mattress protectors and all those sorts of things, sheets, etc. Change them. Um, it's assuming the mattress is dry. The mattress protector, mattress protector last night didn't do its job very well at all. Uh, so she ended up um, obviously in bed with us. So um, yeah, um, I'll let you know how I go at the doctors. Um, apparently he's at the maternity ward at the moment delivering a baby. Hopefully he's not running too far behind schedule because I'm in town uh, killing time at the moment after drop off. I didn't want to go back home and have the sort of the 20 minute drive. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get a few videos up later on today as well. Um, I managed to tackle some of the, the problem areas, zones over the weekend. Uh, the hubby and I really got stuck in and uh, got his computer stuff. Uh, organized so we got that out of the kids toy cupboard and made a space for that and did the first aid section and the linen cupboard and um, on special uh, in the city when we went on the weekend we found it came out a, a king-size doona or duvet um, and a cover so I was really stoked with that that we could um, get a solution to that the master bed looking really shabby crisis we had going on in there so um, yeah, it was a very productive weekend, got a few things done and uh, yeah, should get some videos up today uh, to show you the results. So yeah, take care and I'll talk to you soon about the uh, doctor. Hey, uh, yeah, we've had our appointment, we've been into the doctor, um, so yeah, back in the car. Um, no gestational diabetes eh, as yet, so... Um, and I did ask whether I will have to have the glucose tolerance test again and he said um, that he didn't foresee um, me needing to have the test again obviously unless, unless something happened you know like serious weight gain or something like that so super stoked about that don't have to worry about testing sugar levels before and after every meal and yeah so really really happy that we managed to um, avoid that one um, and the baby's looking good heartbeat just to get you every time hey when you hear that heartbeat with the the dobler so it's really good just to hear that and yeah it's still even though the belly's there and it's just still not quite real yet and um every every step towards is uh, meeting him just uh makes it for feel even more real so yeah so um he's doing fine i'm doing fine we're all doing fine. Um, so super excited that uh, everything's good. And um, oh, and yeah, and uh, didn't put any weight last month. So got to keep that up. Um, had enough extra weight on me to begin with. So I didn't want to have to put on or didn't want to put on too much weight this pregnancy. Um, and just um, so yeah, really excited that I haven't put on any this month. But uh, let's see if we can keep that up for the next couple of months and I'll be really excited. So don't have to come back for another two weeks and then uh, see the specialist in Darwin in three weeks and then the doctor every two weeks thereafter. So visits are getting closer now and um, it's really getting very exciting. Take care, Amanda Green.